So I'm starting to put together the tablescape and um, it's like Sunday around 11. Kind of just want to make it a lazy day, but I got stuff to do. So yeah, it's trying to come together. Um, okay. If you guys were with me last year, you know, I was looking high and low for that carrot runner. That carrot runner was like a hot, hot item last year. I found it underneath the, the couch, but I'm going to use it this year because I want to. Um, and also I think like with the tulips and the carrots, I just kind of was going for that motif. So anyways, um, I'm going to get the tablescape done so I can do our haul, but just kind of want to give you guys an update of what's going on around here. And yeah, I am like knee deep, like some of like took down the tree and the master bedroom, the Valentine's day. And I am just like surrounded by stuff right now. So I got to get my, I got to get this together. But that's what's going on on a rainy Sunday. Yep, rain again. Hello, friends. Welcome to the first haul of March. And my, 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 don't things look different. All right, let's back it up. Okay, so I finished the tear tray. Is it my favorite? No. But it's, it, it, it's cute, you know, like I can deal. Um, I'm really digging like the carrot house. I'm digging the egg, um, trees, my, I guess you'd call them, what are those things called? The tall bunnies. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm sorry. It has been, I've been, I've been at this for like just hours. Um, anyways, I'm digging it all. I put that carrot canister on the Dollar Tree stand because some of you all gave me that idea and I thought, yeah, you know, let's roll with it. So I put on the new tablecloth and it's the tulips, I think from Marshall's or Home Goods. And then I found the runner from last year. So I used the carrots and, um, I'm trying to think of what those tall bunnies are called. Gosh, they're called the nutcrackers, Easter nutcrackers. I guess we would call them. I don't know what you would call those. And then we have the Johanna Parker in the middle. So, um, I did something a little bit different and I didn't know how I was going to like it or work it, but I decided to put the wreath. I have this little wreath I think I got from the dollar spot at, uh, Target and I just let that take up that whole area. And then we have salt and pepper shakers by Dunn, Ray, Ray Dunn, Dunn, Ray, Ray Dunn. Then we have the peeps mug. We got the peeps guys. I used the big carrots from Dollar Tree. So just, you know. Yeah, it's been, it took me all about, I started this, well, I'm vlogging too, so I think I tell you guys the time I started, but it has taken hours just to do this and put this together, and then also um, I emptied out everything for Easter and put away the rest of Valentine's Day, so yeah. All right, let's get into our Dollar Tree Plus haul. Oh, since I bought two of those canvases, I realized that this would not fit in our bedroom on a wall. So I decided to use that as a backdrop because it was looking super plain in the back. And I think I like it. So anyways, here is our Easter tablescape. I may add, I'll probably add more. I don't know. Or take, I'll probably add more. I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's get into the haul. All right. So this guy got lost in the mail, but he made it. Yes, he did. And his name is Bubba. My husband actually named him. And he is a cutie. Look at, he has a little hair, a little tan hair. And he is a cutie patootie. He is ready for Easter with his little yellow bunny outfit and his little shoes. He's a little pigeon toed, so we're going to have to work on that. But that's okay, Bubba. We'll get you walking, okay? And let's see. He didn't come with any papers, but his his um outfit is Cabbage Patch Kid. He's got a diapy on. And he is a cutie patootie. I absolutely adore him. So, yep. Welcome to the patch, Bubba. All right, so that is Bubba. And let's get into... We don't have like a super huge haul, but we do have a nice size haul. So we're just going to get into it. I know this placemat does not match, but it's from, I think, Dee Dee's. And I just put it on here so like I can put my drink on here and not stain the actual tablecloth. 
Yes, Fancy. Make all kinds of noise for the haul. Okay. Um, let's do Dollar Tree first. All right. Um, hold on, you guys. Working with one hand here. And I still have any... I, I bought the iPhone a week ago. Have I even touched it? No. All right. Puffs for, um, not Puff Puff Pass, okay? Although I have nothing against the Herb Life. Um, this is for, actually, the car. I need a tissue box, because you all know Crystal has allergies, so I just decided to get the tissue box. All right, I got these for my brother-in-law, Swedish Fish, because he'd be loving some Swedish Fish. So it's like a little gag joke. I'll make him a little basket. Two pairs. And then, um... Cup of noodles, socks, maybe, I'll, I mean, I'm, we're going to do a giveaway, so maybe like, I'll include this kind of stuff in there. I don't know. Just, you know, fun stuff. The craft cheese and Oreos. And these, they're just fun, you know? Stuff you'd get, like, at Spencer's or Claire's or maybe Hot Topic. I don't know. All right. And then I'm also going to try the um, contour sticks. I got... I bought tan in LA colors and I also bought, um, the light. So I'll see how I like those. And then I also got this really cute scrunchie and it is super soft. It is like a chenille sweater and they had it in a couple of colors, but I decided just to get the neutral because it kind of matches my hair now. Okay. So a lot of people think I got ripped off on my hair and I can understand why you would think that because it was, you know, an obscene amount of money. The thing is though, is that I was there for six hours and uh, it was a color correction. And what you guys didn't see is when she pulled my hair down and turned me around in the chair, there was actually like three bands. And I mean, when I say bands, I mean like ba like three brass bands from the dye jobs in the past of me just going and having them bleaching my roots and like not really having them take care of my whole hair. So she corrected all of that all of it. And she told me, you're not going to be like the color blonde that you're used to being, you know, like you're going to have to, we're going to slowly lift you back if that's what you want. So right now I, so I pay, so I mean, if you saw the picture of me in the thumbnail, my, my head was full of foil and she actually had to cancel a client after me. So she lost money. And I mean, I respect people's time and I respect their money. So I already knew when I was sitting in the chair, like, at hour four, I was like, this is going to cost some major money. You know, like this is not going to be cheap. And it wasn't, but I will say this, um, she did a phenomenal job. She really did. And yeah, it is going to be expensive. It's going to be two fifty to do partial highlights, but, um, you know, I'm going to go back. And if I like how she does the partial highlights, that's my new salon and also location, location, location. Um, it's heavily like borderlining on Newport beach and, um, it's, you know, and everything's gone up. Everything has gone up. And don't forget, I live in Orange County, California. So you all know it's not, it, nothing is cheap out here. All right. Back to Dollar Tree. I bought this for my nephew. It's like a squishy spat ball Avengers for his, um, uh, Easter basket. And then I bought a lot of snacks for, like, my husband. Just, like, stuff, you know, to snack on. He likes the oatmeal cookies without the um, icing. So just got him a little Dutch-made oatmeal cookies. And then I also wanted um, spicy brown mustard because on Jenny Craig, they give you, like, a lot of sandwiches and just stuff. You know, like, if I feel like dipping, like, something into something spicy, I just wanted that. So I bought it. I also bought the Super Stack Original Potato Crisp. This is basic, from what I'm gathering, it's kind of like a take off of, what's that brand that comes in the can? Pringles. So I just bought him a pack of those, even though I bought like a ton of chips from Aldi, but this was before I bought those. And then I also bought the Splenda Creamers, and it is in Sweet Cream and also um, French Vanilla. So I will let you guys know how I like them. And then I wanted to bake these today. My husband said he's going to get me some eggs. This is the muffin tops, blueberry muffin tops. Includes sweet streusel topping. And you just need one egg. So I have water. I have a quarter of vegetable oil. And um, 
Let me see. Cookie sheet, top of chip with, with streusel, about half a teaspoon. So 10 to 13 minutes. Yeah. So anyways, I'll probably do this. Um, I have parchment paper, so I'll probably do this for the vlog as well because it's we didn't go out last night because my husband is not feeling good. You can probably hear him coughing in the background. So we didn't go out. So I'm just kind of you know, like piecing together a vlog. And again, like I believe the vlogs are about like my real life, you know, and we're not always on vacation and so forth. And um, so far, you guys seem to be enjoying them because you're I mean, they're getting views. So, yeah. All right. Um, and I'm not sure about the vlogging schedule. Like I said, I'm gonna try and post vlogs twice a week and I will definitely be posting like when I go to Jenny Craig and like how the weigh-ins are going and all that stuff. Okay. Um, oh, I'm five, five. Cause that seems to be a big question about how tall am I? I'm five feet. I'm five foot, five inches. All right. Sugar-free Jello. Um, I'm gonna put this in the fridge, and it's only five calories. So if I get like really hungry, I can use this to satisfy my hunger. And then I also bought for my husband the Sunkissed Breakfast Blueberry with Vanilla Cream. These little sandwiches. He likes. I think I've told you guys before. He likes to eat something with his vitamins, and this is just something he can easily grab and use on the go. And then I also got him the coconut as well. And at Dollar Tree, I also found the Snyder's Mini Pretzels, which is a great deal, name brand, 10 ounces. And I also was able to snag them in sourdough nibblers as well. So I just picked up two because, well, one of each, because you never know, like, when they're going to come back. And sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. Um, expiration date on the sourdough nibblers are June 1st, 2023. And expiration date on the mini pretzels is April 15th, 2023. So, time to eat them. All right. Then I bought my niece and my nephew each one of these little Mickey One Activity Sheet 40 stickers. Just to throw in their, you know, their baskets. Even though my niece is, like, not even old enough. But just so that she gets one, too. And plus the Minnie Mouse one is cute. So I just bought one and one. Then I also bought myself these Phil and Flirty Diamond Silver. Honestly... I don't think these are going to show up on me because they're not that long. But if worse comes to worse, I'll just totally use a ton of mascara and max them out. But I would, yeah, I don't think they're going to show up, but we'll see. I'll tell you how they are. Anyways, but these are by Diamond name brand. Then for their um, baskets, I also got the um, purchased Build Three Friends and I bought two for my nephew in um, Captain America and Spidey Man. And I'm not sure if that's, is that all I got at Dollar Tree? Oh, I also got this for my nephew as well, this little activity set. So just kind of getting stuff together for them. All right, let's do Dollar General. Um, I loaded up on napkins because they're a dollar, you know, like why not, right? Hoppy Easter, loving that. Happy Easter. Totally loving those whole peep vibes that they're giving me. And then I like the classic look. Very Hobby Lobby-esque. And I also bought for summer, just for looks, the watermelon and the lemon. And I bought two and two because I, you guys all, well, if, if you just joined us, you will see that I go all out for 4th of July. 4th of July is no joke here. Um, as a matter of fact, my husband and I are going to be doing the Easter wall. And I just realized that honestly, like Easter is Christmas 2.0. And then with, um, summer being a combo of 4th of July and lemon and strawberry and blueberry decor, it is just... Yeah, it, there's a whole lot going on over here. All right, what else did I get at Dollar General? I did not go crazy at Dollar General, but I know I got more than this. Maybe I did or maybe I didn't. I don't know. Hold on. All right, ignore the mess. $6 for this core mat. A cheapy weepy. I, I need it. Perfect size. And I honestly need an Easter one. I'm hoping Aldi gets theirs in soon because they have cute ones. If not, I'm going to have to go to Hobby Lobby and um, grab one. All right, so I ran into five below, and I bought this little baggy poo. And I also got this for, I bought myself another one. This one, I think, has a stain on her face, so I'll keep this one for myself. Um, I have two now, which is good, because I don't know where the other one's at, to be honest with you. <sighs> you guys, it's a mess here. 
But I'll find it. I'll, I'll find it. Hopefully this year. Hopefully this year. And then I bought one for my niece. $5. I mean, by the time I left the store, the barrel was already... Like, you could see a huge difference in the barrel. Because everyone who walked in was grabbing one. Because they're so stinking cute. Then I thought, since I am doing strawberries, I better get this now. So I did. And look at how cute that looks together. For summer, the strawberry, I'm all about it. It'll match the red, white, and blue. So like that. And then that's not all I bought at uh, Five Below. I also bought this really cute basket for five fifty five, And I, I thought, I'm going to go back and get another one because I think it's cute. And also this would be a super stinking cute Easter basket. Like imagine putting that in there, like, you know, sitting her up on some grass and then throw in some candy eggs. That would be adorable for any Hello Kitty lover, et cetera, et cetera. So I really like the basket and I really should have grabbed two, but I just wasn't thinking about it. Um, I wanted to use these for our keys. Actually, I do have another basket that I can use for our wax melts. So we'll see. But anyways, that's what I bought at five below and the video is up on the channel or you could do something like this. And I got this at five below too. Hold on. This would make, this would be perfect for a basket. Look at, these are both, these are both items from five below. Tell me that's not cute. Uh, if you want to go super extra, hold on. Look how cute that it would be. And that's all from five below. So the basket's five fifty five, the blanket's five, the Hello Kitty's five, and I believe the um strawberry was five fifty five. So they got about twenty two dollars. But I think it I think that would make anyone happy, you know, and then sprinkle some candy in there. Oh yeah, there's your basket. Also from five below, I did pick up this pink ten feet premium um cable charger and she said if i asked her if it fits the iphone 14 and she kind of looked at me like i was stupid and i was like okay she's like it fits most and i'm all yeah i can read that it says fits most iphones and ipads i didn't say that because i'm not rude but um we'll see if it fits the new one you know i don't know this whole iphone thing is new for me okay I bought this from Walmart online and she's cute. Kind of like a Fred Flintstone type of deal. Um, what happened is I ordered her the, the first time she was like 19, $20 or something like that with tax. And she, she, it was kept saying delayed, delayed. So they just refunded me my money and they gave me a $15 credit. Well, I saw her again on the, the website on Walmart and I was like, you know, what? I was going to put in the order. So I just waited it out and she arrived within like three days. And so basically I ended up paying $5 for her because they refunded me my full refund and they gave me a $15 credit. So I paid $5 for her and $5 is all I really would pay for her because she is cute, but I don't know. There's something off. I think maybe it's the arms. I don't know. Something's off a little bit, but she's, she's cute. And you know, she's, she's, has a home here, so no worries. All right, let's get into the next part of our haul. Sticking with Walmart, I did buy these, and these are going to go with the coffee at the coffee bar. They're stinking cute. They were like two. Some I can tell exactly how much they were. I spent fifty five dollars and sixteen cents at Walmart, and those little doodads were two ninety seven a piece. Two ninety seven a piece. Then I bought this bad boy, and it's a lip, what, strawberry marshmallow cream keychain and flavored lip balm, and I'll tell you how much that was. That was, how much was this? Plush white, um, peeps, it was only, it looks like it was only came out to two ninety seven. I don't know, that can't be right. I don't know how much it was. Oh my gosh, you guys. They charged me twice for the pastries. And those pastries were $9.98 that I bought for my husband. $9.98. I'm going to have to call them. They charged me. Tw I charged. Well, I did the self checkout and I charged myself twice. But that's $9.98. So it really would have been like. 
$46. Yeah, I'm going to call them because I did not mean to do that. All right, that is crazy. So always watch yourself. And I've heard stories about Walmart and like the self-checkout. Like you have to watch it. And it's very, very true. Watch your, you know, and this is my fault because there was like a long line behind me and I was just like wanting to get out of there. It's totally my fault, but I'm going to call them after I get out of the shower. All right. I scored on the wax melts and... I mean, it's not really a score because Walmart's not doing what they used to do. And I mean, I used to be able to get these for like 25 cents each. Now I'm getting them for a dollar, but I'm not going to complain because, I mean, what can I do? Seriously, really? <laughs> All right. This is lemon pumpkin bread. And we, I could care less with this. What, as long as I like the scent. Basically, I got a lot more of what I hauled last week, except they had one of, this is my all-time favorite. And this is fall leaves. And I bought... Like I said, it's a very strong scent. A very, very strong scent. Um, let's see. I did get items sold 26. So I think I got... I don't know how many I got of these. I got a ton of them. But I am going to call Walmart and get my money back. Um, pumpkin Spice. This is by Sensationals. Again, you know... Honestly, your house just smells like you're baking. It doesn't like really smell like super bad but that's the gist of them was pumpkin spice fall leaves and uh thankful harvest or whatever all right let me see what else we have let's get into hobby lobby all right i also ordered a charlotte tillsbury which is another ridiculous expensive brand um and i guess this is her little eyelids you get a free sample Ooh, this is a sample uh lift up um, under eye, and then I didn't order this. I ordered mascara, and then the magic cream. Ugh. All right, whatever. Okay, so what did I get? I don't even know what I got. Um, I believe this is Fair Charlotte Tillsbury, and this is concealer, and then I also ordered Pillow Talk. So let's take a look at it. All right, I also actually started using Charlotte Tillsbury um, in Florida, so I bought that concealer. I actually use it under my eyes. And then I don't know if I have pillow talk or not, but this is definitely like a nude, something I will use. The only thing is like, this is a lot of money for not a whole lot of product, but whatever. All right. So that's what I bought. Throw at this cute box. Box seems cute. I've never ordered it online. Only bought it at a, oh my gosh. I hope I, I hope... <laughs> I'm going to have to make sure. I'm so sorry, you guys. Hold on. All right. I went to Hobby Lobby, and I picked this up because I am going to be incorporating it into the Easter decor. I know how I'm going to use it. Um, it was 40% off. And then I also bought these. These are going to stay. I don't know how long they'll stay outside, but these are cute. And these were $5.99 each with 40% off. I picked up two yellows, one pink and one blue. There honestly were not a whole lot left. Bought those, and then I also, apparently I'm addicted to napkins. I didn't realize I got napkins there too, but okay. Only one. No, actually, these are 50% off. If you watch the walkthrough, which I hope you do, because it's a good walkthrough. 50% off these teal napkins. They're springy looking, so I basically paid $1.50. Um, picked those up, and then I'm starting to buy for 4th of July. And some people are saying that it's too early for 4th of July, um, just remember, I don't, you know, I'm not in charge of the stores. I don't put the stuff out. However, I will say that it's probably the same people that are mad when 4th of July, <laughs> you know, like they're looking for stuff in, you know, the middle of June and upset that fall stuff's already coming out. Um, there's a reason why I started buying Valentine's Day stuff in December, because I want the hot items. Just like I started buying, I bought those trees like right after Christmas. You know, same thing with that carrot house. I mean, you cannot, you'd be very lucky to go and find that carrot house at Marshall's or Home Goods or TJ Maxx, um, unless somebody took it back or unless, you know, they got, got another shipment in. But I will tell you this as I go from store to store, the Easter is getting more and more condensed and they are bringing in summer. And when they bring in summer, they're going to start bringing in 4th of July. Um, there's already two full aisles of 4th of July and I shot it at Hobby Lobby. So. Again, I'm not in charge of the retailing and how they decide to put stuff out, but I will shoot it. Um, and I absolutely, absolutely, red, white, and blue is my jam. And 
I wasn't going to wait for these to go on sale because they might not be there and then I'll be really upset. Um, this is too cute. I love the drummer boy and drummer girl. This just is so like, let's go to the 4th of July parade. And this is going to be two forty nine. And I thought that was cute. I'm probably going to go and get some more because I'm going to use this to decorate my trees. America, again, we're looking red, white, and blue. We have strawberries, very vintage, very 1950s, 1960s. And then I love the Popsicle Parlor. I mean, if, if they make this in a big sign, I'll be all over it in a hot minute. I bought two because, again, this is going to go on the big tree in my bedroom or maybe the small one in here. I don't know. It's But that's going to be used as decor. All right. I've been hitting Ross heavily, and that's because I'm hitting the jackpot at Ross. I mean, I have scored so many name brands. I really hope you guys watch the the videos because we found Nike, we found Crocs, we found, um, I mean, just so many name brands in shoes and they keep coming. We found Ray Dunn. We found Johanna Parker. We found more Michaels. So yeah, they, Ross is on fire like always. So let me show you what I hauled at Ross. Uh, one more item from Hobby Lobby. I almost forgot to show you guys. These are for the red, white, and blue. These were $3.99. I paid full price because these are plastic. I can reuse these. Um, and I want to use them with my Yeti. I doesn't mean maybe not a new, a new Yeti, but, um, yeah, this, these are plastics. I mean, I can reuse them, you know, until I can't reuse them anymore. And these are cool. So I paid, yeah, I paid four bucks for them is what it is. All right. Rossi bossy. Here we are. I finally found some cute cups. Are they the absolute cups that I wanted? No, I wanted cups for Easter, but these will be cute at the at the bar, at my coffee bar, because it says Queen Bee. I mean, wow, I like that. Queen Bee, yes. There we go. Where are the rest of the bands? Hold on, let me make sure I didn't get gypped. All right, the bands are in here, so I'm just going to put the tops on it, and it'll go at the coffee bar. I hope you guys are all looking forward to the home tour um, of Easter. And funny story about the Ross is, I think I told you guys in the Ross video that security was following me heavily. And as a matter of fact, I'm very acutely aware of my surroundings at all times. So I turned around because I could feel someone following me. I was like, who is on me? It was security. They were all over me throughout the video and I was just like and I even told you guys and I mean I said it in front of them because I was like <laughs> like what about me it says I'm gonna steal like seriously like are you serious you know the only thing I can think of is I had put my new Louis in a Christmas Marshalls bag so it looked like I was just carrying around like a big tote bag and I don't think they knew I had a, my purse in there so I guess they thought I was out there to loot the place but I was like it's just I was just like, oh my gosh, which also just made me just like kind of like want to rush through the, I mean, it was just a quick Ross because I had already shot Dollar General and Dollar Tree, but it was a brand new Ross. I was like, let me go check it out. But I was glad I did because I found some, I found this little cutie. And when I say the Easter wall is going to be crazy, it is because I just bought this too. Chocolate bunnies and eggs, cottontail farm. I'm not sure where this is going to go. But it's nice, and it's only seven ninety nine. So yeah, I jumped on that baby. All right, one of the friends from the channel, she had the green peeps blanket. Um, I did purchase it for what she paid for it nine ninety nine, and I paid for shipping, which was twenty. So it was like twenty nine ninety five, and uh, I think we did PayPal. So let me show that to you. And she was really sweet because she actually sent it in a bag that I could not haul that they just clean bought out over here during Christmas. So, you know, I'm going to hold on to this bag. Let me show it to you all. So here's the bag that was like the hottest bag and it says have the sweetest Christmas and look at that is so stinking cute. So I'm going to put this bag away and thank you for sending me this bag. I was just like floored. I was like, Oh my gosh, I could not get my hands on it because everyone done swooped it up and it's from home goods. And then it has like the teal handles. So I did, was able to get my hands on the hot, hot, hot peeps blanket. And I'm very, very happy. Thank you so much. This is the one that I have been wanting and so forth. And it's a beaut. 
Look at that. Cute. Cute, 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 cute. So yeah, 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 yeah. Super, super happy. All right, you guys. I um I think for the vlog I'm gonna do the Shein try Shein try on haul. Um, I got some items from Shein, and I will do a try on haul for you as part of the vlog. And um, like I said, we didn't do a whole lot this weekend, but you will be getting two vlogs from me this week, along with our regular shopping schedule. Um, it is almost four o'clock, so I'm gonna get this baby loaded up. And I will see you all tomorrow. I also need to film what's in my purse because I did change over LVs and the purse is looking all cutesy putsy. So I'll do a video on that. And also let me know if you have any questions um, in the comment section. And as long as they're not like, you know, super invasive or <laughs> something mean or something like that, chances are I will answer them um, and so forth. All right. Also, let me know if there's any particular stories you want me to hit. We are going to hit Tuesday morning. Um, trust me, I was probably one of the first people to know they were going out of business. I just didn't want to say anything because it stinks. You know, um, I happen to like Tuesday morning. I'm really bummed that they're going out of business and they're not going to be around for 4th of July. They come up with some unique items for 4th of July and it's just another store down the hatch that we're not going to have to to go to, you know. And But I will go at and say our final goodbyes to them. So yeah, I'll probably hit Tuesday morning this week. If not tomorrow, I mean, I want to hit them and see what's going on. It's very, very sad. You know, they're closing all over, not just here in California. They're shutting down their stores. So it's really, really sad. Um, and I do not have a Christmas shop. Trust me, if I had a Christmas shop, we would be there. I, I can't wait for a Christmas shop. All right, y'all. I will see you all tomorrow have a wonderful day a wonderful evening and make sure you check out dollar general dollar tree and all the content on the channel smash that like button and leave a comment thank you so very much